fit, formidable, and fantastic. Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy and welcome to a new episode. This episode is a response to Elliot Hulse's blog post from November 19th. Titled, Fake Natties and Vegans. It was brought to my attention by one of my viewers over Facebook message. Now, I'm not going to pay any mind the fake natty and steroid aspects of the blog. I really want to take a break from that shit. I've said what I felt needed to be said about that topic, and this channel is not specifically about steroids. So I'll be breaking down his comments about veganism exclusively with this video. So let's get right fucking to it. I'm going to tackle this in segments as I scroll through the article. Elliot starts by making the argument that veganism is merely a fad and that it will fade away. He draws comparison to other things he considers fads like paleo. Listen, Elliot, do you even understand what veganism is? This is nothing like fucking paleo, so that is a poor comparison. It is far deeper, it is purpose-driven. Uh, please do your research before making such blind statements as you have in your blog. According to the Vegan Society, veganism is a way of living which seeks to exclude as far as possible and practicable all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. And the results are undeniable and quantifiable. Each vegan saves at least 404 lives per year. And according to a body of 2,500 studies, they are sentient lives. Sentience defined as the ability to feel, perceive, or experience subjectively. Just like you or I can. Veganism is a way of life, Elliot. One of non-violence and non-exploitation. One that provides a voice to the innocent and voiceless inhabitants of this world. People who truly go vegan for the deep ethical aspects never quit. It holds profound importance to them. And veganism is perfectly sustainable, not just for survival, but to thrive upon. We are not obligate carnivores, from a biological standpoint. Whereas paleo is arguably a damn fad. One that is full of pseudoscience and logical fallacy, like appeals to tradition. Once you see veganism as more than just a plant-based diet, and beyond its potential health benefits, but rather as an actual movement trying to bring upon positive change, change on a number of levels even. Including fighting major causes of climate change, as officially stated by the UN. You will truly understand that veganism is so much more than a fad, and it is not going away. In fact, it is actually growing, heading toward being mainstream. Anyhow, you continue by comparing veganism to religion by blanketly calling out vegans for being holier than thou, self-righteous, and aggressive in their delivery. Yes, there are vegans who take a very aggressive, in-your-face approach, but there are also vegans like myself who, more often than not, utilize a calmer, more rational and logical approach. I promote and inform about veganism in a way that I personally want to be introduced to something with facts and logic. Also in leading by example, showing what a vegan can do, using my body as evidence and as a promotional tool. But those are just my methods. Others have their methods of preference and different people are reached by different modes. It's great to have a variety of approaches, in my opinion, uh, to reach a variety of people. Which approach is right or wrong is ultimately relative and very much a matter of opinion, you will find that both the aggressive stance and the calmer approaches have each reached and converted people to the vegan lifestyle. It is also worth noting that the more aggressive the messenger, the more exposure their message often gets, and the more jimmies that are going to be rustled by it. So ultimately, you'll hear more about the in-your-face variety of vegans with an extreme mode of delivery than you will uh, the calmer members of our movement. Just some food for thought, Elliot. Please don't use stereotyping as a form of argument to define an entire movement. And that's really about it. Your article was very short, uh, and so my reply follows suit. And as I said, I was avoiding the steroid aspect as I've covered that in plenty of recent videos. I just felt this response needed to be done to offer a counter view and to set the record straight. And to my viewers, please like and share this video so that it may reach Elliot and his followers. And as always, subscribe to my channel to stay on top of fresh twice-weekly content. Anyway, 
Till next time, my friends, here in my little corner of YouTube.